Canadian comedy legend Rick Mercer returns to lead a stellar lineup of Canada's most hilarious and diverse comedians in the Just for Laughs Comedy Night Canada Tour, which lands in Hamilton tonight. But Rick's first stop is right here on Morning Live. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. It's great to be here. Thank you. Yeah, last time you were on, you were uh, here with your, uh, well, virtually with your uh, best-selling uh, memoir, Talking to Canadians. So thanks for talking to us yeah. again. Since then, where were you during the Will Smith slap? Oh, I was home watching it, aghast like everyone else, aghast. wondering what the impact was on comedy. But I was preparing to go on the road for this tour. That's what I was doing. And so I think I might have even been talking to a stand-up while it, it happened. But uh, I was mostly just preparing to head out on the road. Well, and that's why I asked you, too, the impact. You've spoken before on cancel culture and, and its uh, negative impact on comedy. And, and as a comic, seeing that moment right there, what were your thoughts? I think as a comic, originally, I looked at it through the lens of a comic, but then I quickly realized I was just watching someone unhinged. And it was no different than if you're walking down the street and you see someone do something kind of outrageous and antisocial and, and not acceptable. And whether it's happening outside of a bar or in a parking lot or what have you, these things happen occasionally, not very often, thankfully, and usually not on live television by people who are allegedly, you know, got their stuff together. So I don't know if it has a grand impact on comedy or not. Certainly some people do, but uh, it's not something I'm going to worry about. Uh, you mentioned you were um, getting ready for this tour. This is your first tour since the pandemic. So that's oh, got sure. to feel great. So Oh, I can't tell you how great it feels. I've, I've ironed a thousand shirts in a thousand hotel rooms <laughs> in my life, and I've always hated it. I've always hated it. Now you and love it. Tour, we, we just went to Atlantic Canada. We were selling out everywhere we went, and I was just so happy to be ironing that shirt and getting ready to go to a theater. It's so wonderful to see so many people coming out. Uh, the laughs on this show, I've never seen a show like it or been involved in a show like it. The laughs start minute one, and they just roll all night. There's, there's three phenomenal comedians that I'm sharing the stage with. They're all very different. They're all at the top of their game. It's just such a fun night. I can't believe it. And I can't believe how happy I am to be back out on the road. It's kind of a, are we in a golden age of Canadian comedy right now? Oh, I think so. I mean, I'm on the road with three comedians, two of them, Dave Mirhej and uh, Ivan Decker, both have won the Juno Award for Best Comedy Album. And Iman El Husseini is a superstar, a global superstar now, who every year she does the Montreal Just for Last Festival and uh, and is an audience favorite every single year. These are, these are comedians at the top of their game. I'm learning so much from them. I'm watching them every single night. Dave is phenomenal. Ivan Decker, who's there on the screen now, I watch him every single night from the side of the stage. It's... Uh, it's a it's a master class in stand up. It's unbelievable. Now, post pandemic, but how much how much uh, comedy fodder comes from the pandemic? Well, people are always talking about current events, of course, and that's current. But we're not talking about the pandemic too much. Absolutely not. And then, of course, I, in Ontario, we've got an election coming up. We've got it for me personally. We've got a conservative leadership race that's happening right now. So I always dip my toe into those those things and. Uh, so it's not, I wouldn't say it's pandemic heavy by any stretch. Everyone comes from uh, a very varied backgrounds. And so everyone has different real life experiences. And uh, the content is very different from comedian to comedian. There's no doubt about it. And it stretches the comedy dollar, all kinds of value on stage. So let's oh, sell yeah. some tickets. We'll get the yes, information. Please. So we're, tonight, we're, we're at the first Ontario concert hall tonight. And uh, like I say, you go to ha 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 dot com. I believe it spells exactly like it sounds. Ha 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 dot com. <laughs> the first Ontario concert hall. And uh, I can't wait to get back. I mean, I, I, you know, I've got so many friends in Hamilton and I'm just I just can't wait to get there and to cross paths with them and and deliver this show. Fantastic. Well, good to have you back on stage. Good to have you back on Morning Live. Visit often, would you? Rick Mercer. I, I would love to. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a great day.